cat suit. Okay, everyone, it is me, it is Michael. Um, because, um, some people like my style and some people like Curtis's style, in the senses of what I'll explain, it's pretty much one of our only variations of each other. Um, I've decided to do a solo let's play of a couple games that I know. This one is Free Ice Cream. It's pretty great, as you can see. It has a worn down van, and it also has some ice cream thing cut onto it. Nothing shady about this at all. It's two little girls suspecting nothing. This seems to be engraved in blood, and now I'm going to explain something. Let's take a look at the credits first. Okay, here we go. I like the way that the credits were done. I don't know what this is. I think it's the van model. It doesn't matter. Here's the credits. It's pretty great. And he is staring into your soul. Yes. Um. <coughs> Curtis and I have completely different styles in the senses of I am kind of, you know... Actually, I think I should explain him first. Um. He's kind of, hi, this is happening, and this is how it's going to work. Minced a file, I'm kind of, hello there, oh my, butter tart, radio. Uh, let us play this and get some wonderful free ice cream, it sounds great. Oh, I did not foresee this at all. It was not obvious in the slightest, by that I mean it was never a thing, but it was no thing at all. Right, let us do the clicking. It's a point and click adventure, free ice cream is. This is our antagonist. He's most antagonizing in the senses of he has blood everywhere and he is evil. I might show off some of the deaths in this game. It's kind of like King's Quest and that's it. Anyways, we are going to have a look around here. What's this? It's blood all over the wall. It's pretty great. Okay, because this is a wine cellar, I would, you know, kind of expect this to, you know, be kind of wine. I mean, there is every chance you could have just threw a bottle of wine of one of the kids, many kids he may have absolutely captured because that cupboard seems to be rather easily movable. That's a pile of rubble. It does nothing. It's pretty great. What have we got up here? It is an air duct. It's an air duct of which we cannot reach because we are not Ristar, which is pretty sad. But we can push the cupboard now because we've noticed that it's easy to move and I wonder if it's easy to climb. Looks as though. Let's make our escape. Come on, jump it, you can do it. Oh no. Oh, we made a noise. We better run. And fast. Oh, I didn't want to do that. I really didn't want to do that. As in, pull up this menu. Hey, buddy! I don't care if there's a Java update. Java updates. Any version of Java is fine with me. By the way, stay in the room too long and you're dead. There's tons of ways to die. Don't go back! Doorway is covered with... Oh, the glitch stopped. That's cool. So we can't go there because it's covered in cobwebs. Let's have a look at this. Well, that's a chair. No, well, that's, that's a pretty interesting elevator if I ever did see. And that button doesn't work. Probably because there's no power. I think it mentioned that there was a fuse box behind the cobwebs. Anyways, we would need a duster to get to those cobwebs. Let's have a little exploration fiesta or go on around here. We got ourselves a cat. We can't just grab that duster because, you know, the cat is there. So, um, that makes use of this cat food. It's pretty great. Now, we could escape through the window, but it's kind of barricaded, and I don't think girls of her age can actually, you know, remove heavily um, encrypted boards, of which are in a very stylized type graphical game like this. It's pretty great. Uh, what have we got here? Green stains. At least he has some sort of taste and decor. Not a good one, but at least he has some. Um... I have no idea why there would be green stains on it, but that's okay. The cat food's up there, I think I mentioned that. And there's a cat bowl. It's pretty great. So, 
what we'll do is we'll use this stool and pull ourselves up to the cat food gotta turn up my volume there because you can't hear anything it's pretty not good okay we have the cat food now so we can attract that cat's attention one problem this cat is a demonic cat and it ain't cat planet it doesn't matter let's grab this in destroyer's rat poison you get the idea pour the rat poison in here she has a very evil look there for some reason I like that it's pretty great the cat eats it and then he dies and then he does what every cat does when he dies pretty gruesome don't touch that TV because if you do uh, Mr. Man will come in here and slaughter you and you pretty much have nowhere to hide except right here but sometimes he actually finds you there and it's very annoying besides I'd rather show you the safest way around also don't touch that phone either the windows barricaded with wooden boards again I mean why wouldn't it be if I was a psychotic person I would not want anyone to see my doings equip the duster and then we shall dust these cobwebs hooray now we can get to the to fuse box fuse box hello fuse box you are a box that fuses I'm not to say we will never power the basement we can however power the kitchen for some reason. Um, oh, we can power that code lock, but problem is, is that I don't know the code. Let's have a look around, see, and see what we can find, or what rather we can see, which is something like this. 1977. That seems like a number, or a year, but they're pretty similar in terms of how they're viewed. So, what would happen if I type that in here, and pressed enter. Why? I believe that that unlocked it. Do not click on any of these bags unless you want to commit suicide, which would be horrible. You know, I always wondered whatever happened to our little friend. Uh, oh. Well, there, that, that answered my question. Um. Oh, poor Lily. That was her name. Well, now she's dead. I believe this room features probably one of the more gruesome deaths in the game. Uh, duh, 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 duh. Now what do we do? I'll tell you what we do. We take the key and we don't do what you do in Quest for Glory, I think it's called. No, that was a lockpick. You shoved up your nose and then you died. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Um... What the hell do I do with this key? I know it's in this room. I never remember it. No, of course. You unlock this drawer, you get another fuse. It's pretty great. And we're actually quite close to actually finishing this game. Um, I did this wrong. You gotta equip the fuse and then click it. Kind of weird, but it works. Now you want to power the hall so it powers that elevator and the second floor so there's light because she won't go up there if there's no light because she is scared and I would be too because this is a house of not so homeliness so you can't really call it a home but psychotic chef can because he is a guy that prefers the creepy scenery which is fine with me I am not one to judge his turkey dinner now at first you may think oh I can just go right out the door and you could if not for the fact that first you had to do this little sequence of which you click on the carpet or anywhere over there and you fall right through it and land on him problem with the sequences is that you have a very 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 tight time limit you have just enough time to click on that and get on this elevator because then he gets up ready to slaughter you to death and whatever you do, do not go to the room to the left, otherwise you will be dead, and that will not be good, because being dead is never a good thing. 
And guess what? Finish. That's free ice cream, ladies and gentlemen. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty great. And now I'm going to challenge Curtis to play it and see how well he does. I may do the death scene sometime. Thank you for watching. A familiar phrase, Hadoken. Can't you don't be a